What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today is the day that we have all been waiting for for a very long time. It's been a long, arduous journey to get to this point. But today, Electra has been released with Cydia. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to jailbreak your device. So if you're running iOS 11.0 up to 11.1.2, and you have an iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, or iPad mini, then you can jailbreak your device, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. So I don't wanna make this a long, drawn out video, so let's go ahead and jump right into it, and let's get started. And of course, before you do any of this, make sure you back up your device to iTunes. Now, I don't have to do that with this phone just because I don't have any personal information on it, but it's always good to back up your device before you try a jailbreak. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your device is plugged in to your computer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you here if I tap on settings that you can see I'm on iOS 11.1. .1. So this should be completely compatible with this jailbreak. Now, there's gonna be two websites that you wanna to go to. First thing you wanna to go to is coolstar.org slash Electra. Of course, I'll put a link in the description below. You guys can just click on it and then you're gonna to wanna to hit this download button right here. This is gonna download the Electra IPA. So this is what's going to be jailbreaking your device. The second thing that you wanna do is download Cydia Impactor, which you can see right here. So whatever OS that you're running, I'm on Mac, so I just clicked right here. If you're on Windows, right there. If you're on Linux, then you should probably know what you're doing already, but you can click on either one of these, the 32-bit or the 64-bit. So I went ahead and downloaded Cydia Impactor, and I also have the IPA on my desktop here. So I'll go ahead and minimize this. And now at this point, all you wanna do is open up Impactor, which I'm gonna do right here. Make sure that it recognizes your device right here. And then all you have to do is just click and drag the IPA over on top of Cydia Impactor and let go. So at this point, you're just gonna log in with your iTunes email. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then go ahead and type in your password for that iTunes email. Now, if you run into this issue right here, it says, please sign in with your app-specific password. You can create one at appleid.apple.com. So let's go ahead and click OK. And I just wanna walk you through this just because I know some people are gonna run into it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna to go to appleid.apple.com. And then go ahead and log in right here with your Apple ID. Now, once you log in, there should be a lot of information here, which is probably gonna be blurred out in this video. But what you wanna to go to here is the app specific password. So you just wanna click on generate password. And then you can see right down here, it just gives you a little pop-up that says, use an app specific password, sign in to an app or service not provided by Apple. So you can just enter a label here. So I'm just gonna type in impact and then click on create. At that point, it should give you an app specific password that you can use to sign in with your iTunes ID in Cydia Impactor. So all you wanna do is just copy this password right here. And then we can minimize this and then go back to Cydia Impactor right here, and we're gonna try it again. So we're gonna go ahead and drag Electra right onto Cydia Impactor, let go, and then we're gonna sign in again. And then when it asks for your password, just paste it in from the app-specific password. We'll click OK, and you can see that it's going to start progressing through the jailbreak. So if this pops up, go ahead and type in your password again, and that's gonna be your normal Mac password, not your app-specific password. So you can see this is completely done on the screen here. Now, if we take a look at my phone, you can see that we have Electra right here. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on that. And you can see you get untrusted developer. So all you wanna do is go ahead and click cancel. And then you're gonna swipe over here, go back into your settings. And then you're gonna go into general, which I'm already in here. Scroll all the way down, tap on device management, tap on developer app, and then you'll see Electra right here. So you just wanna tap on trust right there. And now at this point, we should be able to go ahead and open up Electra. And at that point, all you have to do, tap on jailbreak. And then it should go through a couple steps here and you'll get a pop-up that says APFS snapshot created. So this is just saying that you may be able to use Simmer Restore to restore your phone to this snapshot in the future. But once you get that, just go ahead and tap on continue jailbreak and it should start installing Cydia.
All right, so we are back. Looks like it resprung the device or rebooted it. Now let's see if Cydia is installed, which we can see it is. Let's go ahead and tap on it. And there is Cydia on your iPhone 10. So of course you'll want to do your complete upgrade right here. So just tap on that and that should get everything up to date. So for now, I'm just going to actually ignore that, but I'll just come back to it. But you can see I'm on my iPhone 10 on iOS 11.1 and I have Cydia installed. So that is all there is to it. Really straightforward and simple to do. Of course, if you guys run into any issues or problems, make sure you let me know in the comments below. I'll try to help you guys out. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, if you guys wanna see jailbreak setups, tweak videos, theme videos, basically every type of content that could come out of a jailbroken iPhone, make sure you hit that like button to let me know. And of course, you'll have to subscribe if you wanna be updated once I push those videos out. All right guys, I'm really excited about this jailbreak and I hope you guys are too. It's been a long time coming and I'm finally glad it's here. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one.